I was 13 once, and it was nothing like this musical. Let's talk about 13 the musical, and let's see if it's worth your time. Hey everybody, my name's Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services, just like Netflix. If you guys are like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. After moving from New York City to Indiana, a 12 year old navigates his parents' divorce his impending bar mitzvah, and his school's social circles. This is a coming-of-age musical based on the Broadway show, and it shows what it is to become 13 and all of the, I guess, troubles that come with it and all the social circles at your school, but done in a musical format. I remember when I was 13, and it was nothing like this. And I think that's going to be a hard time to relate to people that are turning 13. Nowadays, 13 year old kids are uh, not going around school and singing and dancing and everything. They're doing other things. And I feel like a lot of this movie is just trying to be safe. It feels very fake at times. And there is some relatable moments in here. I remember when I was 13, especially when it involved relationships and expressing your feelings and, and being shy around people. There are certain aspects to this film that I thought were relatable, but there's also a lot of other things in here that do feel incredibly fake. They're trying to force certain messages and it's really coming off heavy handed. Being yourself and accepting others, a lot of those messages, while good messages, feel very strong and heavy handed really early on in the film. And I don't mind certain conversations like that. I think it's good for a lot of people to hear those certain messages. But the way that the conversations flow, it all feels very forced and fake. And so you're not really uh, invested in some of these conversations that mother and son are having or friends at school because of how unrealistic it does feel, how scripted the conversations do feel. And so as we're watching this young boy, who's 12, he's about to turn 13, he's going to this whole new school, he's going to this new school and meeting all new friends, everything about it just feels really forced or fake. And a lot of the musical moments, and I do know it is based off of a Broadway show, feel unoriginal. The dancing is pretty good. I was impressed with some of the dance sequences, but a lot of the songs, you know, have that message of being in school and accepting others and being yourself. Those are songs you've all heard before and the lyrics all feel very unoriginal. And it's things I've felt like I've heard before. I think the film could have spent a little more time developing its characters. Evan Goldman is dealing with his parents' divorce, his upcoming bar mitzvah. He has a friend Patrice that he met in the beginning of the film and they kind of were distant in the middle half of it. But all of the other characters that come forth, all the other kids in school are tackling on to the story and adding a lot more of the musical moments in here. But the moments of Evan as he's uh, dealing with his parents' divorce, moving to a new, t moving to a new state, and all of his friends, I feel like it's really just paper thin. He really didn't get to know the character because of all of the dance sequences, all of the characters, and how quick they moved from scene to scene. There's right intentions in here, but I don't think a lot of kids that are turning 13 or are 13 now could relate to this film. There are certain moments that do feel relatable, like the relationship aspect to it, but everything else just feels really safe and fake. And I don't think there's gonna be a lot of people that are going to relate to it. There is some good moments in here, but overall it's a pretty disappointing film with a lot of moments that just felt unoriginal. And there's just moments that were very cringeworthy and a dialogue that just, didn't feel realistic. Everything just felt fake and forced within here. So before I give you my score for 13 The Musical, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here so hit the subscribe button and get it all in one spot. And if you'd like to see where 13 The Musical ranks amongst all of the other 2022 releases I have seen this year, follow me on Letterboxd and there you can find my ranking. I'm going to go ahead and give 13 The Musical a C-. 
Thank you guys for checking my review for 13, the musical. Have you seen it on Netflix? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy, YouTube.